Hi, it's Frederick, the Micro Hobbyist. Today's mailbag is all about Mauser and the goodies that I've just received. So, here we are at the workbench. Here's our present. Well, when I mean present is my gift to myself. I'm sure there's a better way to open these boxes. All right. Priority two. Why? It wasn't a priority. It just came in. Now, you don't need to see these papers. Alright, here we are. First thing we see is resistor packs. <clears throat> there are 10 Ks and with uh, eight resistors and then with a common, so it's nine pins. I took 10. Well, 10 be only because it costs less to take 10. Uh, next in line, 11 pins. Oh, got uh, 10 kilo ohm Born's resistor. Same thing, but I got, yeah, 10, so 11 pins, so that means it's 10 resistors in one package. Strange that they didn't package it the same way. Really weird. Oh well, this is going to be for um, my uh, putting some pull-ups on the next CPU I'm going to build. What do we have here? Well, I can take it out here. All right, so I have. 90 degree headers, which you can cut to length, which is going to be useful for these things. Hopefully, if I measure measured correctly, uh, I'll be able to have the correct length that will fit in there. But we'll see, I believe I ordered some. Remember these, right, from a previous video? If not, go back to another video in the past. I've covered it. Next, more resistor networks, 3.3 kilo ohms. Well, you need you know what they look like, right? Do I need to open the package? Yes, it's an unboxing after all, it's a reveal. Yeah, 3.3K. I usually use those for um, pull-ups for um, certain types of pins, uh, signals. The 10K I'll probably use for um, the bus, the data bus and address bus. Here, more resistor networks. This time 300 ohms. The, these will be used for um, uh, I'll never say it, but bar graph LEDs because they are quite bright, the ones I have. They're white and I probably should have taken 1K, but three, uh, 330 is fine. 220 would have been short. I got how many capacitors and what value? I have, is there a quantity? Quantity, 100 and one microfarad because I need those. They'll be useful for um, the RS-232 transceiver and bypass capacitors. More? Ah, 0.47 microfarads. 
because, you know, it could be useful. It's like halfway between 0.1 and 1. This is... Ah, yes, because I was missing an SIO. I believe I only had one SIO. So I purchased a second SIO at 10 megahertz. SIO zero for a Z80 or Z80, whatever you prefer. Zilog. Now, I'm st it's still up for debate, right? S there are still polls going on and they haven't expired on which platform I'm going to use for my next step-by-step -step series video. This is what? Oh yes, that's right. These are the connect the ATX power connectors for this right here. Now um, I started to assemble it and I forgot to press record uh, for uh, assembling all of this. I was on a live feed uh, participating in another live feed and I decided to work on it and I forgot to rec uh, record the thing. These two are not all the way sol soldered through. They're only tacked um, at four places. But tomorrow on a live feed I will solder the rest, solder the headers for the jumpers, uh, for the breadboard header, and put that connector. I will do a video on this, half assembled, and to test it also. Of course, I have no cards to test it with, but I will be powering it on, see if the power button works, if the reset button works. There is no clock, so... Um, that's an issue, well, not an issue, but we'll see if it gives the power uh, where, the, where it should be. It is, after all, uh, ESA uh, compatible backplane, even though it's passive. So that's it. That's my, uh, let's try it. I just wanna see if it works, because if it doesn't work, I am screwed. Yes, it does. Snap it in place. And bingo. I have the right footprint. Wonderful. All right. So, well, that's it for today's mailbag. Be sure to subscribe and tickle the notification bell so that way you'll know when new videos come in. But more importantly, stay tuned for the next step-by-step -step series that's going to come out soon. And I'll reveal which CPU I've used or has been voted to be used. Goodbye and take care.